Silent nights inside Lulu Food and Drink became the norm after Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir ordered restaurants to suspend indoor dining starting November 20th. It's been really tough. That's owner Jarrett Matthews speaking. He's nearly out of ideas as he tries to spread out limited shifts to his employees desperate for hours. He's even had to furlough a few. Uh, with the screens, the dividers, the, uh, the outdoor seating, the getting heaters, the getting tense, not getting tense, you know, it's just, it's been an ongoing uh, battle of trying to do things the right way, stay in business, and it's cost us a lot of money, a lot of stress. You can help remove some of that stress, and it's simple. Bring any amount of family board games or cards, puzzles, as well as holiday wrapping paper, then drop it off this weekend at Lulu in St. Matthews or Brasserie Provence in Linden. And it's not all about the game drop off. If you're one of the thousands of service industry workers who needs a little help, you can pick up games and wrapping paper the same weekend that Kentucky restaurants have the green light to return to indoor dining. You know, it just happened within a week, literally. With so many friends in the service industry, Caroline Knopp was a lead force in making the collection drive happen. You know, I don't want to collect money. So that's where I thought, well, you know, games. Games promote family time togetherness, bonding. Who doesn't need that, even during a pandemic? She's hoping to see thousands of games donated this weekend. Then, any struggling artists, caterers, waitresses, chefs, whomever needs it can come choose their games next weekend. We want it to be a shiny, bright Christmas for these kids where they can still believe. This is the, uh, this is the time to come together, and the service industry has definitely done that. In St. Matthews, Marvis Herring, WLKY News.